What's going on everybody? It's your boy Naraki and Sophia Naraki is gaming and today I got another special division video for you guys Alright before we get started make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have it already and let's get right into it Baby, all right the highly anticipated video that you guys seen in some of my videos is finally here This is the build that I've created that I feel like is one of the best builds that you can use for the PvP and PvE world Okay, because as you guys know the dark zone is different now. You are not only playing against um, live players you're also playing against the NPCs and what I mean by that the NPCs hit a lot harder so if you get into a fight you know with four groups or you're by yourself and you run up to the high area you want to be able to outlast everything so that means you want to be able to outlast the people you're fighting and also the NPCs do not get a free kill on you or is not the cause of you dying from other players alright so Without further ado, guys, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to go through every gear set, every stat, okay? And then I'm just going to show you what's what. And then, you know, you guys leave me your feedbacks in the comments below and let me know what do you guys think about it. And let me know what build you guys are working on, okay? So, let's get into this bad boy. Boom. There you guys have it. This is what I've came up with so far. Far, okay, we're rocking with 2k plus DPS 4k plus toughness and of course the skill power is something that I feel like a lot of people is neglecting now due to the fact that Some of the new gear sets kind of defeat the purpose of using the skill power especially if you guys are using like the BFB and stuff like that the sticky bomb that is not so much effective anymore and I'm gonna show you exactly why okay First off, we're going to start off with the weapons. As you guys know, I'm still rocking the AUG. All right, the AUG A3 Para XX coming in at 210. You know, you see the DPS. You guys already know the D got brutal, vicious, meticulous. All right. We're going to try to do this as quick as possible. And then we got, uh, I got this AK right here. It's actually pretty good. It's in your base of operation right now. This was part of the new restock that happened recently on Friday. All right. And uh, yeah, classic AK-47 comes with destructive and deadly. The reason why I got it is because of destructive and deadly because this also is good to have when you're going against um, the, uh, the ads. It goes through the armor pretty quickly and it shreds them really fast. So I wish this um, competent was lit, but we're going to see what we're going to do. All right. Okay. And for my pistol, you already know I'm rocking a double barrel side off shotgun. I only do this because when I have you down to like that one segment of health, all I got to do is just hit you one time with this and you're going down, okay? Hit you with the second shot and you're dead. Nobody can revive you. So that's a good tip to have in the dark zone. You want to kill your enemies as quick as possible, all right? And all my guns are 204, except for this one. I don't know how this got in here, but whatever. Okay. Now. First off, first off, we're going to start off with the chest piece, okay? The chest piece is very, very important to me, and I feel like it should be important to you guys. I feel like everybody's chest piece should have two mod slots to three mod slots, all right? And your armor should very, very be somewhere around the 1400 plus range i really feel like that's very important that your chest piece is one of your your main pieces because when people shoot at you that's where they aim first and some people who are very accurate and their aim is very precise they aim for the head all right so hold on all right so we're gonna get right into this boom this is my chest piece right here as you can see i am doing the lone star vest all right it's coming in at 1573 armor and it is a stamina vest at 744 plus I added a mod on that thing which is a firearms give me 157 plus firearms okay major attributes as you can see right there 624 armor minor attributes 23% increased kill XP and skill attributes 8.5 turret health and two mod slot all right now as you can see i do have three set pieces so i do have these guys activated if you rock in two set pieces of the lone star you get that 100 percent capacity ammo which i think is so dope and so helpful in the dark zone because it's like it's, it's just it's just really good okay and then also if you got the third set piece you get that thousand lmg damage and that thousand shotgun damage hits you that's why i rock that sawed off shotgun but that lmg i have yet to try the lmg with the thousand plus damage and see how that works for me i do have the hungry hog but i don't think the hungry hog is going to be any better than any other lmg that's in the game now if you get the four set piece okay when the weapon is holstered it regenerates fully back to ammo okay so once you 
you holster the weapon and you pull it back out guess what you're full back to ammo ammo capacity is on 100 it's gonna always stay on 100 okay and if you guys don't know these are the type of mods that i have on my first mod is a prototype firearm mod okay 157 firearms with 1.5 crit hit chance I, I love those crit hit and those critical damage that's how i build my character gotta make sure you hit them hard every time and also got the 149 stamina and the 134 health that's also a prototype stamina mod all right that is my chest piece okay going over to the backpack all right this is my backpack coming in at another 1012 armor okay as you can see this is a firearms backpack with 604 all right and they got a major attributes armor coming in at plus 454 armor always need that armor to keep it up at that 75 medication you got 48 percent ammo capacity skill attributes you got nine percent secret mine damage 9.5 secret mine explosion okay as you stroll down, I only have one striker backpack. I am looking for another backpack. This is not the backpack that I'm using right now. This is the backpack I'm using right now, but this is not going to be the main backpack, okay? But you guys already know the striker attributes. And on this backpack, I have a stamina mod with 3% signature ability resource gain. The reason why I put that is because I could have put something else. I got to put more crit on it, but you kind of, I kind of need that signature ability resource gain to come back a little faster when i'm running by myself if i can get it anything that helps it get it back faster then yeah but if i'm running with a group i would change that mod to something else more useful because somebody's in my group is probably a high-ass tactician and it's just is whatever he'll probably get his back faster than anybody's anyway okay moving on we're going over to the mass baby i do want two mod slots on my mass but unfortunately this is what i was working with right now and yeah so this is what i have to make work but um, it's a final measure heavy mass, okay? It is a stamina mass coming in at 836 stamina with 481 base armor. 14.5 exotic resilient damage, baby, okay? 24% scavenging and 9.5 sticky bomb explosion. Yo, the most important attribute on here to me is that exotic damage resilience because that is going to add to your tankiness. That is going to help you survive, okay? And I'm going to show you later on why moving on we're going over to the knee pads now these knee pads that you see right here was a knee pad that i got literally literally right before i did this video these were the knee pads that i was rocking before okay but the reason why i'm not rocking these knee pads if you guys didn't notice this does not have a mod slot but it is almost the same exact stats and it's a 214 and this one's a 240. now the stats are the same but this gives me 17 percent critical hit damage i love it i love it and it comes with a mod slot and it's a stamina knee pad giving you 632 stamina with a base armor of 21 okay and you can see i got that 85 percent scavenging 26 percent burn resistance 29 percent okay disoriented resistance and also the skill attribute is coming in at three percent smart cover damage resilience that's just that's just more protection on top of protection and also i'm rocking two of these final measure pieces you get that 50 percent exotic damage resilience if you guys didn't even notice you guys could do the math already right now how tanky i am right now okay i am going for that third piece and that's what i'm going to switch out that backpack for when i get that backpack it's going to give me that 50 percent protection from elites and that is so effective especially especially against those snipers and those aggravating ass shotgunners which i don't think they dial down yet okay all right oh wait sorry about that now if you end up getting the fourth piece of the final measure all right when damaging a hostile with the grenade gain the destructive fuse when in range of a hostile grenade the buff is consumed and diffuses the grenade as well as gives you the grenade so somebody throws a grenade at you in a corner or you're trying to help a teammate down guess what you're going to absorb that grenade and it's going to give you the grenade and it also helps against the mortar so if you're in the apc or you're doing the falcon loss when the guy's bombing away with those missiles guess what you ain't got to worry about that no more okay it will defuse that stuff and also the mod side on it i got 154 firearms with a 1.5 crit hit chance i told you i love the crit hit gotta hit them hard baby and that is my knee pads moving on we're going over to the holster okay 240 holster coming in at 955 base armor this is a actually a good holster it comes in with both firearms and stamina i didn't even notice that i wanted the electronics one i thought i had one with the electronics one i did right here but it's not as good as this one so i went with this one and i'm missing on electronics but if this was had electronics i could have got that thing up to 12k but this has 456 plus armor 9.5 seeker mine damage all right and as you can see you already know the lone star baby 
and the mod slot on that is 140 firearms, 3% skill haste. Anything to get that thing back, especially like I said, this build right here is to try to help you solo in it, okay? All right, it's helping you so your survivability and also you're dishing out a lot of damage at the same time so you can gun down a lot of people because on hindsight, a lot of people is trying to do a tank build and they're neglecting their DPS or they don't know how to get their DPS up right. And a lot of people DPS is not as high as it was in the 1.1 because of all the new gear set people are trying to build around. So the whole thing about the Dark Zone now is all about survivability. And it's basically just outgunning your opponent and winning the battle at the end of the day. All right. Mm -hmm. And of course, on my gloves, I wish I could find a Savage Glove that is just so beast, but I can't find a Savage Glove. I do have a Savage Glove, but it didn't go well with this build. For some odd reason, it was knocking down everything tremendously. So I went ahead and found me a Lone Star. Okay. A Lone Star Gloves coming in at 455 SMG and... 669 firearms with a base armor of 488 6.5 critical hit chance and 35 percent critical hit damage oh my god I'm, I'm i'm hitting hard i'm just letting you guys know that three percent ballistic um ballistic shield damage all right and you guys already know what it is the lone star and these the unfortunately gloves don't come with a mod slot yet they need to they need to get up on that that'll make it so op okay and that is all my gear now here's the thing what I'm gonna tell you about all my gear set right now all this that you see except for this one okay except for my holster none of my gear have been rolled I have not touched any of my gear at all all right none of this has been rolled now just just so you can see for yourself we're gonna go up here all right and we're so what me neither and we're gonna go to the tech wing real quick and I want to show you something none of my gear has been rolled this is all just drops it's all about the great stats all right if I go to my mask look at this it's not rolled this is just the stats on my mask this is what I've got it's not it has not been rolled okay let's go down my oh my chest piece I did roll this one Okay, I did roll this one. I think I rolled this one for more armor. Yeah, that's what I, yep. Let's keep it moving. All right, look at that. Backpack, not rolled at all. It's It has not been rolled. I could still have room for improvement. Okay. My gloves, I rolled this. I told you guys, I think I, oh, did I, yeah. Man, I did not roll this. Don't take a look. But I, I, there's no point even rolling it. The crit here is at 6.8. This is 6.5. I don't know. I think I changed it out for something. It gave me something. I put that crit on it. All right. And let's see. My holster. I told you guys I roasted for the gear mod slot. I knew I did that. Oh, and then my knee pads. I also rolled that for a gear mod slot. But other than that, yeah, half of my gear is still not rolled yet. So there is room for improvement, guys. Okay. All right. Now, let's go into my stats real quick. I'm going to show you my stats real quick so you guys can see. All right, my weapon right here, I'm doing 53.5 crit chance, okay? And I'm doing critical hit damage at 113%, 113%. Headshot damage 121. It was 147, but I dialed it down to balance things out a little bit. All right, and accuracy and all that other good stuff. But let's go to the more important stuff. This lady's so annoying. Okay, survivability. My toughness, as you can see, is 410k plus. My health is coming in at 103k. All right, this is actually a pro and a con. The thing about it, the pro is that it takes longer for people to really gun you down and it helps you. It's like just making you more tanky. Now, the con to this is that if you use overshield, okay, or if you use the overshield with the buff on it that gives you extra damage, it does not give you that full overshield. It kind of like, because you're so much health and you're so much tankier, it kind of works against it. So you have to run through it like two or three times to get a full overshield. But all in all, it's still very helpful. All right. My armor, I did sacrifice probably like a percent. I'm at 74.56, but that's fine. I can live with that right there, okay? 75, I can get up to 75. If all I got to do is just go roll one thing on my thing and I can get up 75, but I'm fine with this. This is this is good with me, okay? I'm living with this. Health rejuvenation is at 5,000. All right. 
exotic resilience damage i did have this at like 85 percent, but like i said i wanted to even things out so i dialed it down a little bit but i can still get it up higher if i want with just switching out some mods but i'm at 65 percent right now no matter what, if I stand in front of the fire, I will not die. Okay, eventually I would die if it's a lot of them focusing on me with their fire because the fire do hit you for crit hit and crit damage now in the game. So a lot of people don't understand why they die so quick from fire and that is why. It's critical. You go stand in front of a fucking blazing fire and see what happens to you in real life. You will die. <laughs> but this would make you so tanky and this is why it's so helpful because when I do, I like to go rogue. And sometimes if the whole server is on my ass, what I would do, I would run to that one extraction I believe is in DZ5 on on top of the parking garage and right next to it it's like four or three big ass flamers you guys know what I'm talking about and what I would do I would run in there and go straight to the back and hide behind the wall and the guys would come in there thinking that they can survive it or thinking I'm gonna die and guess what they are gonna die because why the flamers are on their ass those guys are like level 32s and on top of that all they throw is gas grenades and fire grenades all right and i just watch everybody die and all i do is just come in i gun them down from afar or i butt them and while i'm sitting there taking all the flames and all the gas grenades and these dudes be pissed it'd be so funny but that is why exotic resilient damage is so important in the dark zone now okay all right and as you can see i got the burn resistance burn resistance it's itself is also good against when they're using the incendiary rounds i got this story it where people are like use the flashbangs now so this is very 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 useful okay and i need to get the shock resistance one thing i've noticed even though you have exotic resilience damage i don't think it helps you against the shock but i think if you had the shock resistance it's its own talent so get this up and i'm gonna, probably going to get this up to like 15 percent to 20 percent and i'm going to see how effective it is against what people using a shock turret because as you guys know that is an op use thing in the dark zone now so you got to find a way to get around that thing the best advice i can give to you hide behind a truck when somebody drops a shock turret pop your super or um, hit it with a flashbang, something like that, or just shoot it and take it out very quickly or run down the street. Cause as long as you're 20 meters away from the shock turret, it cannot shock you. So when they drop it on the ground, just run a little bit, go around the corner and get away from the shock turret. And then when they're coming at you, lean up against the wall, aim around the corner, hit that headshot, boom, they're down on the ground, you win. Go about your business, all right? And I believe that is it right there. As you can see, scavenging is 125 plus. I mean, scavenging is really has no point in the game because people think this help you get better drops. It does not. Scavenging is just like the same mechanism it is in Call of Duty, okay? It's help you find incendiary bullets more often, and it also helps you get ammo on the ground a lot more quicker without you having to always going back to the stash or to going back to a safe house to get more ammo and you guys don't believe me you guys should go on ubisoft forms and read it for yourself scavenging does not help you with the loot it is reworded wrong all right so they did talk about that in the state of the game recently that it just had all right thursday so that's what I know about that. So scavenging, I could care less about it because I was walking around in the dark zone with like 13% scavenging and getting greens for days. All these loot that you see that I have now, all this gear, I was walking around with like 13% scavenging and I got all of that shit in one day. So scavenging is whatever for me, all right? And we got the dark zone fund and we got 10% reward credits. And guys, that is it, man. That is going to be it for the video. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully hope you guys love this video. And I really want to see what is your build. What do you guys are going to be doing in the dark zone? Let me know if this build helped you any sort. Okay. And that is it right there, guys. As you can see, we're going to take one more look at it. 10K DPS, 4,000K toughness. Coming in at 5k skill power up, but I will get that skill power up if I choose to. Like I said, with this build right here, I do run with a team. So this build is a build that I feel like is very good for solo and with a team right here, okay? It's, 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 it's just, it's an all-around balanced build to me. It, it's no, there's, I, it probably has a flaw in it somewhere, but as of right now, I've yet to see the flaw. So I'm not going to say it's the perfect build, but it is a very, very standard high quality build that i feel like anybody can use and you can make it happen all right i do have another build coming your way and i'm not going to take so long with the next build i'm probably going to drop the next build and probably like um i'm not going to put a date on it because anything can happen but it's coming real soon like so 
I'm not even gonna say what it is. This is gonna be another build, okay? And it's gonna be for the dark zone, of course. And I'm gonna just demonstrate it. So my next build is gonna be a demonstration build. I'm gonna exactly show you what it does and what it can and cannot do. So hopefully you guys like this video. It's your boy Narakis. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And please don't be shy. Leave your comments and your thoughts and your feedbacks in the comment section in the bottom below. And I'm gonna see you when I see you. Peace.